Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. Today is Wednesday. I'm starting the vlog again on Wednesday, which I don't really know why. I think yesterday I shipped some orders out. On Monday, I was trying to get a lot of orders finished, and I got those out yesterday morning, and then I pretty much just designed all day yesterday. I went to dance, came home, and then designed some more until like two o'clock in the morning, because I'm having way too much fun designing, and it's just a good time. I also um, edited my vlog for a little bit of the day yesterday too, which I find that editing my vlog and getting it up on Tuesdays is what takes a lot of my day on Tuesday away. So I need to get into the habit of editing my vlogs on Monday night again because I used to do that and I don't know why I changed it to not editing it until the day I want to get it up. But anyways, it is currently about 10.30. I slept in a little bit this morning just because the last two days have been pretty busy so I wanted to give myself a little bit of time. Also, I did go to bed at like 2 a.m. yesterday, so yes. Anyways, I'm gonna make some breakfast today and tomorrow and probably a lot of Friday as well. I'm going to be pretty much designing all day, so sitting at my computer, really getting things done. I wanna get everything designed, hopefully by the end of this week, so that I can take it easy this weekend because exciting news is I have my recital. It's actually not that exciting. I'm a little bit sad about it, but I have my recital on Saturday, so that's going to be pretty much all Saturday I'm going to be at my recital. We have our like dress rehearsal in the morning and then we have our recital the same day, which is really nice because like it stays fresh in your mind, um, your like stage, like staging and stuff. So yeah, I think that's what I'm going to be doing Saturday. Um, and then Sunday, I'm going to try to take the day off, clean my house, just chill, do some, you know, errands and whatnot. But that's going to be the week, so hopefully I can get some footage for you guys. Um, yeah, I think that's everything I have to say. So I'm gonna make my breakfast and then we are going to head downstairs. wanted to update you. I've pretty much been designing all day. I just headed upstairs, had some dinner. I also baked some cookies, which is kind of random, but they've been in my fridge for like a month, so I was like, I probably should bake these. But yeah, so I am now actually heading out to dance. This is actually the last dance class. I didn't know I had to be in today, but I guess we were doing a step, which is like a big tap group um, tonight. So I'm going to head there. I'm also having to pick up a huge piano to put that in the back of my car because it's for my contemporary group and I have to buy tickets for my parents. So yeah. Sorry I haven't vlogged much today, but it's been a crazy day. Hello guys, it is me again and it is the next day. Yesterday, I think the last thing I told you guys was that I was going to dance. And then I got home from dance and pretty much just worked for the rest of the night, went to bed, and it's now the next day and I am ready. I did do a little bit of makeup. I've been trying to do like a tiny bit of makeup every day. I'm not wearing any like face makeup, but I did put a little bit of eyeshadow on, a little bit of mascara, and that's pretty much it. Did my brows. That's it. So yeah, I'm about to head out. I need to go grab a gift for my cousin because we are going to my cousin's bridal shower tomorrow. So we need to pick up that. And then I am also, what am I doing? Oh yeah, I'm getting breakfast. I haven't gotten breakfast yet and it is pretty late. It is 10.30. So yeah, I should probably get some breakfast. I think I'm gonna get some Starbucks. And yeah, and then I'm gonna come home and pretty much design for the rest of the day. Exciting life I live, isn't it? So I'm not really sure what you guys can see right now because I can't flip up my screen with my tripod in the front of my car, but I just got some Starbucks. I got a um, venti ice caramel macchiato, which is one of my summer favorites, which if you haven't tried it, so good. I definitely recommend really stirring it. I feel like a lot of people say that caramel macchiatos are really, really bitter, but if you stir it enough, it gets sweet and it's so good. And then I also got a Caprice sandwich, which is one of their new ones, 
but the lady told me that it was what they used to call the sun-dried tomato mozzarella sandwich, which I love as well. I've been kind of getting a little bit sick of my bacon gouda breakfast sandwich, so I've been changing it up and getting something different, and it is a little bit later in the day, so I don't really feel like any breakfast foods. So I got that. I also got three packages in the mail that I'm going to show you guys when I get home. And I also have to go and pick up this guy right here from the post office because I didn't answer my door yesterday because I did not have a bra on. So the guy left a slip for me to go pick up my package. So yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just a roll of washi that I traded with someone. So I will definitely show everything to you guys when I get home. But we are now off to Bed Bath & Beyond. Yeah, you a high five. High five. Light is coming to give back everything the darkness does. from doing everything. It took me a while to get home because Ding Dong Jenna decided she didn't need her GPS to get to the post office because she thought she knew where she was going, but mm, no. Let me know down in the comments if you guys are horrible with directions as well. I normally depend on my GPS for getting pretty much everywhere unless I've been to this certain place multiple times. I use my GPS, so yeah, I thought I was gonna be able to get to my post office without my GPS, but I got lost. But anyways, I got what I needed to at the post office. Basically, this came yesterday, which is the red polka dotted bow washi from Simply Gilded. I did a purchase. I didn't trade for this one. I actually purchased this one um, on the buy sell trade group, and that came yesterday, and I didn't answer the door like I told you guys. So yeah, I got a slip. I got that. It's all good. Now I am finally finished my bow polka dot washi collection, which I'm pumped about. But speaking of washi, I actually got this in my P.O. box yesterday, which this is my favorite washi in the entire world. This was actually sent yet again by Lori. Lori, you are so nice. I like can't get over it. You are so sweet. I guess I mentioned in my Plancation swag bag unboxing video on the Planning Roses channel that I really, really wanted this washi because there was something in the swag bag, swag bag that had this washi, like a little piece of it on it. So, oh my goodness, Lori, you are amazing. I love you. And this is going to be forever my favorite washi. So yeah, I got some pretty awesome washi in the mail today. I also, from my P.O. box, got a letter from the amazing Romessa. She is the owner of the Blanket Planner and her like glitter headers, literal glitter headers, are kind of her thing. And she was one of the coordinators of the Plancation meetup that I went to um, probably like a month ago. And she actually sent me a note and just said thank you for coming. That she can't wait for next year, which girl, I cannot wait either. There's also a big picture on the letter as well of all of us at the meetup. But she also sent me a few sheets of her glitter headers, which I'm so excited about. I was actually going to purchase some of these um, during the sale, but I totally forgot to. So I'm probably end up going to, I'm probably going to end up, there we go. I'm probably going to end up purchasing more of those because I really want to be gold ones as well as a few of her like iridescent ones, which are insane. So thank you so much, Romessa. And then the last thing that I got yesterday in my PO box, or actually I got one other thing as well, but this was a huge Happy Mail envelope, an envelope of Happy Mail from L Plans, which fun fact, I was actually looking at her shop a few days ago and then I got this in my PO box, which is crazy. But basically um, Etsy put in my like recommended section these right here, cause I guess Etsy really knew that I, been really getting into bows, but these little like bow headers were in my recommended section and I'm like, oh my God, those are so cute. I need those. Went to look at Elle's um, shop and didn't end up buying anything. I'm pretty sure I have a few things in my cart right now 
but it's just so crazy that like these things ended up being in my P.O. box. So basically she sent me a little letter as well. She watches my videos. So Lan, if you are watching, I originally thought her name was going to be Elle because Elle plans, but her actual name is Lan and she sent me a little note. She said that she watched my videos. So if you're watching this Lan, thank you so much for the happy mail. This made me so happy yesterday and I'm so excited to use all of your stickers. She sent me a big pile of different bow and lace things. These are like little bow and lace um, little swags. There's like little bows with scalloped headers and a bunch of different things. I really liked these as well, which are like half boxes and it kind of looks like the screen of a camera and it says record, but then there's also like some lace and stuff. So yeah, I really, really loved all of these bow things. They are just so pretty. There's also a bunch of like lace things as well, which are amazing. So that was a little pile of those. And then she also sent three kits, one for me, one for my sister, and one for my mom, which was so sweet. And I don't know which one um, my sister and my mom are gonna have, but the only thing is that one of them is a Canada Day one and I believe next week is Canada Day. So I do already have one, so I might just keep this one for myself and do two plan with me's or like have one for my one planner and then have one for my other planner. But that was really cute. And then this one is one that I like really want, but if I keep the Canada Day one, I'm gonna have to give this one to one of my sisters or one of my, my mom or my sister. Oh my goodness, Jenna. So yeah, this one's gorgeous. It's like trees and flowers and animals and it's just, so so stunning this this is gorgeous and then the third one is really really cute it's like outdoor with like little fireflies and it's just really really cute i think this would be great for like a baby shower or having a baby or something like that it says good night stars good night air good night noises everywhere oh that's cute okay anyways thank you so much to land for that you are so sweet definitely go check out her shop guys i would probably go more into depth with those but i do still have a lot of stuff to go through and then the last thing that i got in my p.o box was just a letter from christina thank you so much christina you are so sweet she sent me a little letter basically saying to take it easy and take a little time off because it always seems like i am so stressed out in my videos and i'm sorry if that comes across um in my videos Normally I'm not too, too stressed. Um, Pre-sales do get pretty stressful and just having a lot to do gets pretty stressful. But right now I am really, really happy and I do try to take a little bit of time off. Um, I did a big spiel about this the other day, but basically um, I was watching a video. Um, I think it was Nicole Alexia Designs. She's doing a Q&A and she talked about how it's really difficult to have times time off when you're an Etsy shop owner because when you're home and when you are just relaxing it's really really hard to not think like oh I could be doing something for my shop right now like whenever I relax and like have a bath I'm like well instead of having a bath like I could be downstairs working on something or like working towards something for my shop and it's really really difficult but I do try to take a little bit of time off and doing designing and stuff like I'm doing right now is really really relaxing to me so i promise i am giving myself some time off and i'm not too stressed right now which is awesome so thank you so much for that letter girl you are so sweet but anyways moving on to the stuff that i got today i did get two orders that i'm going to be showing in my pbc sale um video on my planning roses channel so if you want to see all the stuff that i get from these two shops Definitely watch that when it comes out. I am still waiting on a few things, but I quickly wanted to mention Naya Papery or Naya's Papery. I'm not 100% sure. She is so sweet. She actually sent me a little bit more than I actually ordered. So you guys will see in the haul, but she actually sent me washi, which I did not realize her shop had washi. So I'm like so excited about this. There's like bows. There's some washi tape that says planner's gonna plan some flowers, some roses. Oh, I'm just so excited for these. So get excited for those. And then I also ordered a bunch of stickers from her as well. And then I also got two planner covers from the Stylish Planner. I will be showing those to you guys in that haul as well. And I think that is all of the sticker related things. The only other thing that I got in the mail was this right here, which is nail polish, which I, kind of went off of painting my own nails for a while there and I was doing a lot of acrylics and that has kind of killed my nails. So I decided to start to take a little bit of better care of my nails. They are really, really short right now and I just have some like, 
don't even know, like strengthening polish. It's called Nail Rehab and I just got it from, I think my grocery store. But I did purchase five different nail polishes from KL Polish, which if you don't know what KL Polish is, um, Kathleen Lights is a really popular YouTuber and she actually opened her own um, nail polish brand. So really, really excited about these. I do already have about four or five of these, but she did come out with a new summer collection and there's so many gorgeous colors in this collection. I also got a few other ones from like not that collection, but yes, these two are from her new collection, which this one, guys, how gorgeous is this color? I've always wanted like a really pretty like green, but not like an emerald green or a lime green. This like, oh, I don't even know what this is. It's a little bit almost teal, but she said that this is very similar to like a leaf, like that's a leaf right there. So I'm really excited about that. And then I also got this yellow, which recently I've been loving yellow. So had to get that. So, so pretty. And I've always wanted bright yellow nails. And then I also got this one, which is not from her new collection. This is Graham. And it's just like a gray taupe color, which I thought would be a really nice color to have for, you know, not really summer, more like fall. But anyways, this one is a really pretty one. This one's called Dream Boy, and it's like a purpley, really light purple, almost periwinkle color. And then lastly, I got this one, which I thought would be a really just neutral color for my nails. And this one is Miss Honey, which she named after Miss Honey from Matilda. I love Matilda so much. Let me know down below, guys. Who else loves Matilda? Because, yo, girl, that's my favorite, favorite movie. Okay, so those are the five nail polish that I got. Um, I also went to Bed Bath & Beyond to get the stuff for my cousin. You guys are currently sitting on top of her main gift, which is a vacuum. And then I also got her, these were like all on her registry, but we got some silicone oven mitts and a towel for her kitchen. Wow, how interesting. So those were everything that I got for my cousin, but your girl saw this pillow and she needed it. It was probably expensive because Bed, bed Bath & Beyond is very expensive, but I just need some more texture in my life and this pillow is stunning. So I got that and then I also got a few little things for myself. I got a little temperature thing for um, meat because your girl's gonna start cooking more food at home and she needs one of these because I'm always scared that I'm not cooking my food enough and I'm gonna get sick, so yeah. Also picked up this. This was something that was on my cousin's registry, but they didn't have the letter that she wanted, but I saw that it had my letter, so I'm like, hmm, I'll get it for me then. So yeah, it's just a little tiny cutting board. I always need like a little teeny cutting board instead of taking out my huge ginormous one for like fruits and just like little tiny things. So got that one, has a little J on it, obviously. And then the last thing was something that I've been trying to get for a while. And this seems a little weird, but it's one of those like lap thingies that you put on your lap when you're working on your laptop, which a lot of the time I end up working on editing videos and stuff in my bed. And I'm always like having to put my laptop on my comforter or on my legs and it's really, really bad. And it starts to burn my legs or it starts to make my comforters or my comforter very hot. So yeah, anyways, that's everything I have to say. My camera's gonna overheat. So thank you for coming along and watching this entire clip, which was very long of everything that I've gotten recently. We should name it something like Kitchen Hall with Jenna. Okay, I'm gonna go design for the rest of the night and I will probably not do any more filming tonight because this vlog is going to be way too long considering this clip is like 15 minutes long. So I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, good morning. It is now Friday morning and today's gonna be a pretty busy day. I have to have a shower. I have to film my YouTube video, which this week I'm filming a pretty fun one. I don't know if anyone's done this before. There's similar ones going around right now, but basically I'm going to be picking my makeup out of a hat, which I'm just gonna like pick five options for each like category. So I'll, like for foundations, I'll like pick five foundations and then pick a number out of a hat and then whatever foundation that corresponds with, I'm gonna use that. So yeah, that's gonna be pretty fun and I'm really excited to see what it ends up looking like. And I'm hopefully going to be able to wear the makeup that I do to the bridal shower tonight. Fingers crossed I can do that. 
But um, yeah, so I have to film that. I have to edit that hopefully and schedule upload that for tomorrow because tomorrow I do have my recital all day and I probably won't have a chance to work on it tomorrow. So I wanna get that all done today. And then I also need to go and get something to put all this stuff in for my cousin's bridal shower. And then I'm hopefully gonna have a chance to design a little bit. I don't know if I'm going to today, but after the recital tomorrow, I'm pretty sure I should have the rest of the day to design and then Sunday I have a little bit of time on Sunday as well. I have like a party to go to that I'm going to take you guys to for one of the girls that we met at the climbing gym which she's having a party for losing 100 pounds which is like amazing so we're going to that my sister and I and I don't know if my brother's going but he maybe is I think I don't know but yeah that's gonna be the day I'm gonna stop yapping to you guys so that I can go start doing some stuff we're gonna make some dinner or not dinner we're gonna make some breakfast and then we're gonna go have a shower. Let's do it. Okay guys, so I just picked out all of the products that I'm going to be choosing from. Basically, I've put five of every single thing. So like, I have five primers, five foundations, five concealers, blushes, bronzers, um, brows, powders. And basically, I kind of put a few products into each of the categories that I'm like not too happy to use. like. In here, I have like this blush, which is like the ugliest blush. I'm going to try to open it for you guys. It's like the brightest, darkest pink color. I've never used this as a blush before. Also like in here, this is a blush that if I happen to get this, I'm going to have to use it as bronzer. And it's like a really bright peach color. Can you imagine that as a bronzer? Oh my god, I'm not looking forward to this. And then also like for my brows... I have a Kat Von D liquid eyeliner in black. <laughs> like, what am I doing to myself? And then I have a ton down here. Um, like, these aren't too bad. Um, these are all the highlighters I have to choose from. The only one that I kind of threw in there was this random, like, little um, eyeshadow that I will have to use as a highlighter if that ends up happening. I have a few crazy colored eyeliners, some very interesting palettes. This one is actually probably the worst and I do not want to get this one because I will have to do a full eye look out of these colors. Are you kidding me? And then we have some lovely colors. This Lime Crime lipstick is like literally baby poop color. So let's hope I don't get that. And yeah. Okay guys, so I am finished filming my video. That was so much fun. I need to do like more like random choice kind of things. I've been wanting to do the like my followers control my life video too so let me know if you guys want me to do that like on instagram where you do the polls all day but yeah this is the finished look i ended up with some white eyeliner so yeah that was fun but it ended up turning out really really well and i'm going to wear it for the rest of the day because it looks cute there was a lip but i took it off because i didn't want to wear it over to home sense because i'm quickly going there to grab some wrapping paper for the present for my cousin. So that's where we're headed now. Um, I do have quite the messy room, so I'm gonna have to figure out that when I get back, but I will need to also edit this video when I get back too, because I don't think I'm gonna be able to edit it by the time I have to leave, because I have to leave in about an hour and a half. So let's go over to HomeSense, grab some wrapping paper, and then we are off to that. Okay, so the present is wrapped. I did not complete the card because I need to finish that when I get to my sister's house, but I have to leave because, um, like usual, I'm probably going to be late. It is currently 4.08. I have to be there at five. So I got 50 minutes to get to my sister's house, which should be okay. So let's go. Yeah, yeah, the like yeah, yeah. This wow. is my Ooh, answer. Hi. To the field. Hi. <laughs> Hi. You know who I am. That's cool. Yeah, maybe. Do you like my makeup on? Yes, it looks yes, beautiful, it looks Jenna. Look I actually did. Well, we I did a video. <laughs> I did a video today where I picked random products. I like had a hat with numbers one to five, and then like mm -hmm. each category I had to. You pick. did a vlog, like no, a, I mean, a, a video. Main channel or, video. Yeah. It's good. That's I like the. Out. I like that you've yeah. done the light liner on your mm -hmm. top of your. Yeah, that was the one thing I was worried really about. Cool. Oh. It looks really cool. Mine's not. Really out out. Your You're beautiful. You're naturally We're waiting beautiful. We're for Christine to let us out. She locks us in. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, it's true.
same thing. <laughs> You're going to be on the internet all <laughs> it's, it's actually really yeah, nice lighting. <laughs> Hey guys, so I am now home. Um, actually, you might be able to hear Jeffrey in the background. Jeffrey, Whoa, you need to shut up. Is like some no, shut up. Okay, sorry. I was having some Jeffrey star time. So anyways, I got home from the bridal shower. It was so, so cute. I loved the aesthetic of her bridal shower. It was all like country with like cactuses and just like succulents and stuff and that's just the cutest thing ever. You guys in the footage that I got probably saw there was little favors of little succulents which I took one of those and they had like succulent cupcakes and cookies but I'm really sad I put two cookies in my purse and they actually broke on the way home so I'm really really sad about that but I am now home. I'm actually just about to pack all of my costumes because I have to be to dress rehearsal tomorrow morning at like nine o'clock and it probably takes me about an hour to get there so probably more than an hour actually now that I think about it. So I'm gonna have to leave at like eight o'clock tomorrow morning. <laughs> Ugh, and it's already like 10.30 right now, so I need to pack up those costumes, and then I have to get to bed, because your girl has to wake up, do her makeup, all the things for a dance recital. The nice thing, though, is that I actually might not even do my makeup. I might do my makeup just at the place, because I don't have my first number until the number before intermission. So I'm not used to like not having many numbers at recital um, because I'm not doing competitive this year. I don't have any competitive numbers. I literally just have um, a tap, which is the step number. That's my first one. And then I have a hip hop number, a lyrical number, and then the finale, which is like the big group number at the end so yeah at every other recital I've always gone on the first number because it was always our big acro group that went on first but it's not this year because I'm not in the acro group and I'm so so sad I'm just so used to it but it's gonna be nice to actually go and sit out in the audience and like enjoy the recitals so I'm excited about that but yeah I'm gonna go pack and then I will see you guys in the morning Saturday. I have not vlogged today. I need to turn this way so I don't get any naked children in my vlog. <laughs> that would not be good. As you guys can see, I'm currently in recital year. And yeah, I've already danced a few times. Holy. <gasps> She's changing. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> okay, I have to get back to doing the recital things, but it's going. Hey guys, and good morning. I probably look like an absolute disaster. I probably sound like an absolute disaster, but I just woke up and it is literally one o'clock, guys. I slept in until one o'clock. I have not done that since I was like a little itty bitty grade nine pubescent lady. <laughs> I don't know, I guess I was really, really tired and I decided today that I wasn't going to set an alarm and I would just let my body naturally wake up. I did go to bed pretty late last night. I think I ended up getting to bed at like 2, 2.30 because I got watching um, 13 Reasons Why and just got really sucked into that. I'm on like the last few episodes of the second season. It's getting really good and it was really hard for me to turn off that TV and go to bed. But um, yesterday was a pretty crazy day. So was Friday. It's just been a crazy few days so yeah I didn't set an alarm this morning and woke up naturally turned on my cell phone and it said 108 and I was like oh my goodness so I hopped out of bed because I do need to get some stuff done today and I'm also going to that climbing party a little bit later today I think it's at six and it goes to probably like nine or something oh hello oh hello oh we're so excited oh my goodness Go say hi to the vlog. Hey, right there. Right there. Oh. What are you looking at? <laughs> Mwah. 
Hello people! It is a few hours later. I just came upstairs after finishing designing the second collection and then I started doing the full boxes for the third collection. Full boxes are definitely like the thing that takes the longest because I just like switch everything around a thousand times and I try to make it look aesthetically pleasing. I think full boxes are my favorite. I know the full boxes are my favorite. I love doing full boxes. It's just so much fun, but it does take a really long time. But anyway, I'm going to get ready. I'm going to make some dinner and then we are off. I'm going to, you know, run around with Penny for a bit. And yeah, I'm excited. Go, Leash, go! What are you doing? girl just got out of the shower. Um, Penny is currently downstairs eating. For some reason she likes to eat really late at night. I don't know why she likes to do that, but yeah. I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. This camera is just about to die, so I have to end it quickly. But I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. I did a ton of really fun stuff this week. This weekend has been like absolutely crazy. Just non-stop, just a bunch of things. And it was a good time. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you so much. And I'll see you in my next. That was so like scripted. I am love you guys so much. Okay. I'm going to stop talking. Okay. Bye guys. <laughs>